Hi, it's Dr. Weiner, and everyone has COVID on their mind, and I wanna to try to ease the stress regarding COVID because there are treatments coming down the pipeline. And so over here, I've listed the different treatments, and I'm gonna go through and explain each and every one of those. So vaccines and antibodies are sort of preventative measures. And antiviral drugs and nitric oxide are drugs that you take when you have the disease. So let me go through these very quickly, and I'm also gonna give you some stock pointers along the way. So listen closely. So vaccines. Vaccines are the way we're finally gonna get rid of this epidemic. Vaccines are injections that you give to patients as a preventative measure, and they create antibodies to the COVID or whatever virus, and your body destroys the virus and it never becomes an outright infection if you get exposed. Now we have in record time developed some vaccines for the COVID virus, and there's actually at least one that's currently being uh, used in a trial. I, I hear they have volunteers are giving about a thousand bucks per, per person to give this a try. So there's different phases of a trial. Right now they're just giving the phase one trial, which is they're injecting and just seeing if it's a safe injection and they don't develop other serious complications. But the main company that the government is working with is called Moderna, and their stock symbol is MRNA, M-R-N-A. And they, they're using RNA uh, technology because they're an mRNA company to develop this vaccine. It's very unique and it's very promising and it should work. But it's going to take about a year for that to go through all the different phases and to prove if it works or not. So what we're using now is antivirals and we're using it for compassionate use. That's my dog. Uh, so let's talk about antivirals. The most promising antiviral that I see is called remdesivir and it's from Gilead. And that symbol is G-I-L-D. Don't forget it, G-I-L-D, Gilead. Okay, you make money on that. So Rindisafir was developed for SARS as well as Ebola, but it seems to be a crossover to the COVID virus. And they're actually using it for compassionate use. And there are some people that have said that it's worked on their patients. So look for that in the future. It should be approved actually maybe even next month by the FDA in an expedited approval. So there's also some drugs that are currently on the market that could also have some value in treating COVID. And those are chloroquine and hydrochloroquine. And those are anti-malarial drugs. And how they work is twofold. One is, is that they block the receptor, the ACE2 receptor, which means that the virus can't bind to that receptor, which it uses to get into the cell. The other thing it does is it raises the pH of the endosome. And that's also an area where the virus attacks. And if the, if the pH is increased, the virus can't attack the cell as well, and it can't enter the cell. So that's why um, chloroquine and hydrochloroquine work. The other drug that is being used is Zithromax. These both are being touted by Trump as the cure for COVID. Well, they did a study when they used Zithromax plus chloroquine and, and chloroquine alone, and they found that chloroquine plus Zithromax improved the results, uh, actually cleared the results in 10 patients versus the chloroquine and cleared it in approximately 60%. So they know that Zithromax plus chloroquine works better than chloroquine alone, but they don't really know why. So the next topic I wanna to discuss is antibodies. So what do antibodies do? Well, in general, what they do is they fight off the virus, but if you haven't been exposed to the virus, you don't have the antibodies to fight it off. So what this company does is it develops a model where rats create antibodies that are human and you give them to the humans and they fight off the virus artificially. They're not your antibodies, but they're human antibodies. So you would give these to patients that are either at high risk or have been exposed to it and can't afford to get the virus. The biggest company developing antibodies is called Regeneron, R-E-G-N. Okay, R-E-G-N, okay? Don't forget that, that's a great company. And they also have a, an anti-inflammatory, an anti-arthritis medication that seems to work as well. The, 
The reason why it works is because what happens when you get the virus is it causes a huge inflammatory response and that causes ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. And that's the problem with these people that dies. They, they can't oxygenate, they can't move oxygen into the bloodstream because their lungs are so inflamed. So this drug that um, Regeneron has that they developed with Sanofi can decrease that inflammatory response so you get less chances of ARDS. Zinc and vitamin C have been shown to boost your immunity and improve antiviral uh, natural killing effect of your body. So we recommend that you take oral supplements and if you can get IV supplements, that helps too. So this last one is called nitric oxide. And what that is, it decreases the inflammatory response of the lungs. So it's given in patients that already have ARDS or this immune response in their lungs where they can't uh, transport oxygen into the bloodstream. So it decreases that inflammation. It also causes dilation of the bronchioles. So there's a company that also makes this, that's a very small company, and they're called XAIR, okay? So here are the symbols you gotta watch for. mRNA, GILD, REGN, and XAIR. I think those are the biggies for this COVID virus. I think that our fight against this COVID virus is gonna be in the lab, in these biotech companies. That's how we're gonna defeat this. So. Let's, let's put our money, let's invest in these companies because that's going to get us over this hump and get us back to work. Thank you.